So now let's have a conversation in English. Okay. And tell me about your trip to Paris. Okay, that's this will be a lovely conversation. Uh, so uh, I've been wanting to return to Paris for some time now because uh, I first went to Paris when I was like uh, eight. Yeah, when I was eight. So exactly ten years ago. Uh, and for my 18th birthday, this was uh, the gift that I got, like, a, a whole trip to Paris, like, <laughs> wow. Uh, and uh, I went with my, uh, one of my childhood friends, uh, and it was, as you can imagine, it was lovely, like, um, in the first day I was pretty jet-lagged, because, obviously, uh, even though the time zone is not, like, there's not a lot of hours between, you know, what the time zone is and the different, uh, the different time zones, whatever. Um, and uh, I remember that um, I, as I was going up the escalators to, you know, to the exit from the, uh, the metro station, um, I was very excited because I was thinking like, oh my god, I'm in Paris with my friend, like, this is like a movie story, you know? And I was looking up and down and all around, and it was pretty lovely. And actually, my friend, my friend uh, recorded it. Uh, and anyway, we got to the hotel. Everything was fine. Uh, as you probably know, the rooms are quite small because they don't have a lot of space. So that was not a problem because we didn't stay a lot in uh, our rooms, obviously, because we were in Paris. <laughs> um, and. Uh, I don't really remember the exact sequence of what happened because I was too excited to remember like everything uh, in the exact order. So uh, what I liked uh, best was um, uh, Montmartre. I think you guys know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I loved everything like the streets and the atmosphere and uh, the people around and the fact that you were feeling very safe on the streets, despite the fact that everybody said that, oh, Paris is not that safe, but yeah, no, exactly. I didn't have, I didn't have like, that problem. Um, Did you see the Eiffel Tower? Of course. Did you go all the way to the top? Yes. Uh, it's actually a crazy story with the tickets and all that, because um, uh, I went uh, at, uh, in the first days of, uh, of July, I went uh, in a trip to Spain, and um, I needed the tickets, uh, for August, so I said that oh, I'm not gonna check now. I'm not gonna get them now because uh, they were not available actually for oh, really for, yeah, they're not available for August, so I thought well, They can't be sold out when I get back from Madrid, right? Wrong, so uh, it was like 9th of July and I uh, checked the availability, the availability of the tickets uh, and I saw that uh, For like the whole month of August it was sold out and I was freaking out because I'm thinking, oh my god, it's my 18th birthday, I'm going to Paris and I'm not going in to the tower. Like, it was like crazy to the top of the tower, yeah. you know? Uh, like, useless going to Paris. Exactly! I'm going to stay home. I'm going to stay home, it's fine. <laughs> we can cancel everything. Um, but that didn't happen because um, I looked for like another kind of ticket on a different website and all that and it, was, it worked out. Like, we had a guide, it was wonderful and uh, actually uh, in like th the day before we went to the to the tower, uh, I wanted to check the tickets on my phone to see that everything is fine and whatever. And they gave me they gave me a link to obviously press on and go on and see the ticket, and it didn't work. Ah. And I was like, oh my god, like this is not happening. Uh, and I was obviously I was freaking out, and I uh, I emailed them and I say hello. My tickets, where are they? They're not working. I'm, I have to be, uh, like, I have to go to the tower tomorrow. Like, it's only a few hours left. Come on, do something. And the lady was very nice. It was, it was fine. Like, I got my tickets. I have pictures from the Eiffel Tower. Everything was amazing. And how did you feel on top of the Eiffel Tower? Like, I had conquered the world or something. Like, it was, it was amazing. I've never been there. I've been to Paris, but I've never been there. <laughs> You'll love it if you ever if you ever yeah, go there. I will one day. Um, yeah. Let me ask you something else. Okay. Um, what has been like the greatest experience, the most impactful experience you've ever had abroad? 
something that happened and you can still remember it and say, mm hmm, that was a moment when I, I don't know, it was very special, you know, in any sort of way that had such an impact on you that you feel that it really boosted your confidence maybe <clears throat> or your independence or your, I don't know, I know, I know self reliability or whatever. Uh, well, I remember a story. Uh, for example, when I went to England uh, with you, uh, the the host families had to come to pick us to pick us up, you know, from the parking lot when we arrived. Uh, and I was uh, actually quite scared because um, on the way there, I heard a lot of native people speaking and you know they have a very strong accent and i was thinking oh my god what do i do if i don't understand what they're saying i'm gonna live with them for like a whole week or i don't know i don't remember how many days there were yeah uh but i was you know quite scared and uh whatever they picked us up and i remember that we were the last that have been picked up you know and um we got into the car and i was with uh, another friend uh, and obviously the people started talking and I don't I don't remember exactly what they asked us probably something about the road uh, and after the question it was like there were like a few seconds of complete silence like uh, I didn't say anything my friend didn't say anything and obviously the, the man was driving like he was expecting an answer yeah. like, oh my god I have to say something because I understood like when he talked I understood everything everything he said and i was like very proud of myself and i said oh come on it's not gonna be that hard and then we engaged in a conversation and everything was fine like mm, in the second day why I, I why why anymore. did you need that silence for a couple of seconds because i don't know i, I was thinking well, maybe my friend will say something and i wouldn't have to say anything and just All listen right. <laughs> so but i had to say something and that was like very confidence boosting like oh my god i can fully understand but you're, you're person. quite confident you've always been quite confident right yes i mean i yes. feel that this experience have had an impact on you but to tell you the truth i've always had this feeling that you are a very self-confident person mm -hmm. even as a child i remember that you always wanted to speak and you know put your hand up and um just yeah, that's I you're very outgoing and and like like that uh i am now i'm a little bit uh not shy but you, <laughs> you know. Um, I don't know if you remember, but uh, before uh, our trip to England, I actually texted you and asked you, Mona, are you sure? Like, are you one hundred percent sure that uh, I'm going to be okay? You know, in England and understand everything and everything's gonna be fine. And you texted me, and then you said no. And I was, oh, did I? I don't no, remember this. No, let me let me tell you. Um, and you said something like no, and then another message is like. Uh, you know, I'm 100% sure that you will be just fine. I was like, oh, thank you, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm relaxed now. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sounds like me. Um, okay, last question. Okay. Let me ask you something quite difficult. No. <laughs> How much time do you spend on social media? I spend a lot of time on social media. Like, it's really a problem. Actually, I'm a procrastinator. I'm gonna say I'm gonna admit that I'm a procrastinator. Uh, so, for example, let's say I have to start to get something done for I don't know Tuesday. I'm gonna start work no matter how much it is, how much work it is. I'm gonna start it on Monday. Monday night. Yes, exactly. Uh, and I do this with like exams and papers and all that. And fortunately, this is not a good example. Is it example? Please don't take this example. <laughs> Uh, we did the same, we all did the same. <laughs> I do, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Um, fortunately, I've never had a problem. Like, uh, it is quite exhausting to work so much, I don't know, on, for example, on a few hours span. But I always get the work done and it's good work. Like, it's not something I just do and ah, whatever. And do you feel that social media has something to do with it? Uh, yes, because I waste a lot of time on social media. Like, how many hours a day would you say? Uh, like six hours a day like yeah that's a lot when I'm and what do you, do you do do you just like go through pictures and uh, reels and or do you read stuff or what exactly? yes I also like the six hours don't 
all go to waste because I do something like uh, I don't know probably homework or I search for something or I don't know I listen to a podcast and it adds up to your yeah. time spent on the screen you yeah. know uh, but yeah I scroll on TikTok and on Instagram and I text up my friends and I FaceTime them and all that so yeah it's it, quite addictive yeah uh, tell me a good podcast that you listen to oh uh For example, before uh, uh, before my uh, Goethe exam, I uh, used to listen to a lot of podcasts in German. So <laughs> in in uh, in English, I don't mm, I don't know like a very very good podcast. Any Romanian ones? No, I don't usually listen to Romanian podcasts. Okay, but like for German, uh, Easy German has. There's easy English, easy French, easy a lot of things, but I used easy German because obviously because of the of the exam. Uh, and they have a lot of uh, interesting topics that they pick. Like, it's a very wide range of a lot of things, like advertisement or something that is right. educational. Mm -hmm. So easy German, you should check check it out. <laughs> lovely. Okay, that's a good tip. Well, thank you very much. This has been lovely. Thank you for having me. Best of luck. Thank you for coming and bye bye. Bye. Tot 10 minute. Oh, super.